again, this is not something to like rag up on because I don't want to, you know, get her piled on and stuff and people to kind of criticize and stuff. But the coronavirus thing has been, you know, kicking off. And I think uh, lately we've heard a lot of people from other industries talking about it more often because obviously it's spread and it's now affecting other parts of the global industry. And people are now being coming more aware of it, I guess, in some respects before because it's like with all things because you can't be too harsh you know i think people are a little bit selfish and a bit self-centered in general unless it actually affects you you don't necessarily care that much right so um we've got one example of it being uh this dj called nastia who's quite well known in the electronic music space for being quite vocal about her you know feelings and things that she's you know going through within the dj space and people are being quite receptive to it right she, she has a bad set she's the first person to you know put a tweet up or put like an instagram caption up um, you know, mad mad amount of um paragraphs talking about how bad the set was and why she's going to do better next time, and just kind of revealing the, the other side of the DJing life, and it not just the kind of oh, hit my hands open up in the air in front of a sold out crowd having a great time. She'll talk about all the highs, all the lows, and the fact that she's a single mom as well adds another kind of um, interesting uh complex to the issue, an, an interesting um way to kind of view DJs as well because you don't really hear that kind of story spoken about too often she's a fairly attractive woman too so i think she's had a, a unique set of struggles coming through the industry in that regard um so really it, loads of interesting stuff that i like to kind of um kind of check in from time to time with nasia but there's also a part of her that's incredibly self-absorbed and narcissistic in that regard which i guess is not really her fault because i think in most creative endeavors especially something like a dj or something like a musical artist, you kind of have to be a bit self-absorbed, a little bit selfish to make it, right? You kind of have to think the world revolves around you in some way, shape or form in order to kind of have any kind of chance of kind of breaking through uh, the noise out there because there's tons of DJs, there's tons of cute DJs, there's tons of DJs with um, great skill, great social media presence who are willing and able to take a spot if you kind of rest on your laurels. So in one sense, I don't blame her. In another sense, I'm a little bit like, this is done in bad taste. So I stumbled upon her profile again the other day, just checking up and seeing what she's what she's been doing. And she made this post that I thought was just done in bad taste. Again, I've got nothing against it. She wants to share a picture of herself looking cute. Fair enough. But she decided to throw up like a TBT on Thursday of herself. Uh, like a picture of herself that someone took, I guess, of her, you know, think her, her looking cute. And somehow within this post, she kind of rationalized that it was a good idea to make a caption about the coronavirus. Like, about, oh, she's worried that her gigs are getting cancelled. And sometimes I'm looking, I'm like, people are dying all around the world, right? It's a worldwide epidemic that's kind of now um, got everyone's attention, unfortunately, right? Because it's now kind of permeated across most of Europe. It's kind of trickled over into the UK. There's been cases reported now in America. The only place that hasn't been touched so far has been Africa for the most part, or uh, maybe Northern Africa has been touched. I don't know by the time of recording, but from not from what I know. So it's a big issue, right, that people are, are really worried about. And then she's using the opportunity to kind of complain that she doesn't want her sets, her big paydays to get cancelled. It's just really done in bad taste. And so it's, here's a picture of it here on screen. Um, Nastia here with like a cute pose with her, you know, peace sign over her eye i don't know i don't know why that's relevant to post now not even post now post it if you want but the caption doesn't make any sense so the caption is the following this is nastia.dj on instagram i really hope this coronavirus madness will finish soon because i want my gig in milan at wherever the place is called on the 14th of march and i want to meet one of my favorite photographers um who made these free shots in italy amongst um, almost three years ago all events are on hold now praying for positive change hashtag stop corona panic like the whole caption is full of absolute dog shit, right? She's self-congratulatory, patting herself on her back for being cute, wanting to play this amazing place in, in Milan because it's obviously going to pay her pretty well. Again, I don't have any problem with that. Make your money, do what you want, cool. But in light of people dying around the world, is this the right time to kind of self-promote yourself and somehow make it about you? Like, this coronavirus isn't about you at all. It's got nothing to do with you whatsoever. It's happening around the world. It happens to affect your livelihood, but it's affecting everyone's life. People, people's family members are passing away, young and old, right? And then the bit at the end that doesn't make any sense too is the hashtag stop corona panic. What does that mean? Is she one of the is she one of the people in the camp who believes that the coronavirus is, not, is no more deadly than the common cold? Does she have a medical degree? Does she adopt the Donald Trump mantra that, oh, um, what do you call it, um, that he's not sold or he's not convinced of what the medical professionals are talking about when it comes to how serious a threat it is? Now, what does that even mean? It's just ridiculous, man. And I understand, obviously, most of these I've got from what post human has posted on twitter recently a thread i get the impression that a lot of the bigger dj a lot of the DJs in general who are professional DJs who, who make their money djing um week to week uh, all year round 
most of their monies are made by uh, touring, right? Going around all. A lot of DJs had a big problem with about Brexit, especially the foreign ones, because they make more money going to other countries than they do playing in their own country, right? Which is just common sense. Fair enough. Um, but I also get this idea that you have to be socially aware, man. You're not you're not that detached from the world. You're going to play in front of hordes of normal people in clubs week in, week out. You're in an airport that sells newspapers and magazines. You see people walking around. You know, the airport's a bit of good... Um, a good kind of meeting ground to kind of meet people from all around the world with all different walks of life. It's not as if like she's a princess, right? From some royal family somewhere. She's just a DJ, right? It's not that she's, you shouldn't be that detached from the world. And if it is that, it's kind of, you know, in, intentionally done to detach yourself. And obviously it's part of her as well. She just doesn't care. She's just worried about her own pocket, which is, you know, again, um, it's, it's her own prerogative, but Jesus Christ, what bad taste has done it? But she shouldn't be surprised though, isn't it? Because I, I think some people don't really like the fact that she does cry and complain and whine about stuff online too much. I quite like I like it, to be honest. I think it's pretty refreshing to have a DJ of her level speaking about the good and the bad of being a personal DJ, but also I can understand in context, once you, once you, once you put it all in context, her personality in general, this vanity of this post, the self, the, the, the narcissism of this post, the self-entitlement, um, it all just looks weird, doesn't it? Once you add on top of it, oh my god, the set glass and didn't go as I planned. It's like, okay, shut the fuck up. You know what I mean, you're just pressing Q and pause on a, on a, on a CDJ. Let's not be, let's not uh, get too ridiculous with it. Because I think the same thing about DJs who take DJing way too seriously. Like I view them in the same way, right? The same people that who you know view it as an opportunity to like self promote and showcase how cute they are. I look at them the same way as people who kind of like try and write dissertations about the effect music has on people and stuff like that, and how music can change the world. To be like, okay, rein your neck in, mate. I mean, let's let's relax. But I don't know. That's probably her life, innit? But yeah, um, Nastya out here being a bit nasty with all this shit. But anyway, what can you do? Let's